Today we're teaching you how to dual boot Android x86 and Windows 10. Yes, hello, welcome! Welcome back guys, I'm Tech Witty with Human and Certain and due to a huge request from your audience out there in the world, we have to do this video for you guys. Dual boot of Android x86 and Windows 10. Let's get to it. Yes, we're here at Android x86 website. We're gonna press download here. And I'm gonna use download from FastHub. And now we're gonna select the latest version here, 9.0. And we're gonna use the 64-bit here, R2K49, 64-bit ISO image. And now we're gonna wait for the download to finish. And while ahead, we're gonna go to Rufus website here. Rufus and now we're gonna download Rufus. I'm gonna download Rufus Portable Because I don't want to install Rufus right now And now we're gonna wait seven minutes before Android x86 is finished and Then we're gonna go ahead to Rufus now. We have Rufus here and we have Android x86 ISO image here now go ahead and start Rufus Press yes uh, press no right now. We're not going to update the app and here we can select our USB flash drive We have no label here and now we're going to select our ice image here And now we're going to use MBR BIOS or UEFI and Then we're just gonna press start here and write the ice image and here we're going to press yes and write in ISO image mode, recommended, OK. Be sure to back up anything you have on your flash drive because everything will now be erased when I press OK. I have warned you. OK. So now it's creating the USB flash drive here so we can boot into Android x86. As you can see here, we're running Windows 10 on our test computer here, Microsoft Surface Pro 1 at the Human Institute and Tech Lab here. Now we're gonna go to Disk Management. And now we are at Disk Management here, and now we're gonna Split this partition here, shrink, volume, and we're gonna go ahead and perhaps 10 gigabytes is enough for our Android X86 installation and our apps. You can go ahead and do whatever you like. Now we have a 10 gigabytes here, and now we're gonna format new simple volume. Next, next, here we're gonna use F8032 and we're gonna write here Android x86 so it's easily Funnable. Okay, now we have our Android x86 partition here. We're gonna turn off the computer. And now we're gonna boot from the USB flash drive here. So we're gonna hold down the volume down button and the power button here on our Surface Pro 1. This is different on every computer, every motherboard. Please refer to your manual in order how to boot from a USB flash drive. Volume down button, power button. Release the power button. Holding down the volume down button. And voila. Now we're gonna go to Android x86 installation here. And now we're gonna go to our 10 gigabyte Android partition here. Enter. And we're gonna reformat it to ext 
4. And everything on this partition will be lost. It's formatting now. And now we're going to install the grub menu here. Yes. EFI boot entries for previous Android x86 installations were found. Do you wish to delete them? Yes. We previously installed Android x86, so we have to delete them. Yes. And yes, we want a read write for easier debugging. And now it's install installing Android x86 for this partition. And now we're going to press run Android x86. And it's booting for the first time, so it will take a little bit longer than it usually will take. And voila! And now I'm gonna just press start here and do nothing because we just want to demonstrate the dual boot functionality, so I will just skip everything here. Voila, Android x86 installed. You can see here, accept continue, no thanks. Voila, let's turn it off. Power off. And now we're gonna turn it on. And let's see here if we can go back to Windows 10. Windows 10. And voila, Windows 10. And let's go back to Android one more time, shut down. And here we can go back to Android x86. As you can see, Windows, Android x86. Let's go to Android x86. It's booting up Android x86. We're back. Back and run. Ready to run here. Wow, that easy. Now we have dual boot functionality, Windows 10 and Android x86. Now we have the best from both worlds, Android and Windows at the same system. And we can switch seamlessly as we showed. Wow, this was hugely requested by you guys. So we're glad we could provide this video with, to you guys. Comment down below if you have any questions about this procedure. Do not forget to hit that thumbs up button to show some support and love here at Human Institution. And do not forget to press that notification bell so you can get notified of our new videos. And do not forget to share this video with any friends or family that want to dual boot Android and Windows at the same system. And the most important things of them all, subscribe button. Please show us some support and love here at Human Institution. We have grown so much. We are so close to 2k subscribers. Please take us there. With you together we can grow. Thank you so much and do not forget who this is. Human. And certain.